Hello, I just was reading a comment about, I hope today's project is easier than last week. So, okay, we're gonna have some fun with that today. But yes, these no. are really, really simple. And what's really fun about these cards, they're gateful cards, but you see how they all have a little latch. So they stay perfectly closed. And we're gonna talk about all kinds of different ways to choose what makes a latch. See, the heart. But that comes later. <laughs> so first, first we're going to share cards. And then I have um, a fun card. Oh, <laughs> we just dropped this to see what happened to the heart. Oh, oh. Well, we'll see if we can do damage control. We did. Okay, it worked. Uh, thank you for joining us. This is so fun. We love having you here. If, if I wasn't so old and out of shape, I would do a show and tell. The cowboy boots. Oh, okay. <laughs> he brought them out and he said, you know, I don't know if these are safe for me to wear anymore because I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little tough. Okay. See? We actually have. Did, did you see him? Okay. Yeah. I think they saw them. So, so <laughs> he's trying to relive his youth. You know, got to do that sometimes. Man, I can hardly walk in them. Okay. We do have a saying for the host code. Ooh. Ramona Pomitis came up with this. I love this. So happy. Six umbrellas got Extra quiet sunshine. Okay, we need, we want the sunshine, the umbrellas. That totally and fits the weather. Extra quiet sunshine. And we're having rain today that's supposed to turn to snow. So the rain can wash away some of the snow we have. But anyway, I love that. So we're going to come back to some fun things later. But first, we've got mail. Thanks for coming through on a saying because it's been, yeah, it's, it's been a sparse. <laughs> That, oh, that was a hard one. Okay, thank you for sharing. And Jean, oh, you people that share, that is just so wonderful. It's the, just the nicest thing you can do for us. So we still have cards from when we were gone, and we will finish them next week. So we put these into three piles to prolong it. And because we have a few things to do today, I'm still reeling over last week. So this is from Nancy Monkholm from here in Minnesota. And look how stunning this is. I love how she always puts these things on the inside. But look how beautiful this is. Okay, so these are uh, where you've got the same thing under it and it's built up. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a fun card. And she made she made her really kind of, I don't know what she did. It's a die on the, she, yeah, on the okay. envelope. It's pretty cool. Very nice. It's very cool. And then this one is from Kathy Boggs was off and on here, Kathy, if you're on here. Oh, and she's just thanking me for the fun we're having over in the back porch stampers. What a stunning card. Look how gorgeous that is with those Ooh. dyes and the flowers. And I love the kind of the monochromatic. It's just a soft. This makes me think spring. And many layers. Yes, that is gorgeous. Now we have Elsie Graff, a new person on my team. And she's thanking me for the little welcome packet I sent. And look how cute this is. Three strips Look how simple you can make cards and have them be effective. I just love Thank the you. idea that those are just strips. And then the words added. And then we have Ginger Fevre from New York. Oh, how, how cute is this? <laughs> look at the little calico heart cat. Oh, look at that cute, adorable Valentine. Just Hugs and kisses. Think of all the different things that you can find to do things with. How cute is that? And she put her note on the back. Oh, that is so no, fun. I put it on the back. Oh, you put it on the back. I think That's it was like, inside. So I had to oh, rearrange that, it. Love it. That is wonderful. And then we have from, to see what this is from, from, um, oh, from Beverly uh, from New York. And I could guess at your last name, but I'm not going to in case I get it wrong. But how cute is that? Um, that is so fun. I love the idea that this is a designer series paper right here. And then you've got a little piece turned that way. So your whole accent with I'm a teapot, little, that's really beautiful. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. That's wonderful. And then we have, I love looking at cards. Okay. And then we have, as you all know, Sean Smith from Kentucky. And how cool is this with the arrangement going around where you've got your strips? Another use of strip cards. You know, we can go on and on with strip cards. I just love that. And then the strip in the middle and then the heart here. 
And I'm making a heart card today. So, you know, we celebrate hearts year round, which is. And I like that little stamp, the X's and the O's. Yeah, that is cute. And then we have Vesta Streeb for, for my mom, which is really nice. And my mom is doing well. I know some of you ask sometimes she's doing well, 98 and a half, just rather amazing. Still trucking along. That is just so weird. Um, and I love that. And again, another simple, effective card. Look how that is just stamped, layered. It's not colored in. It's just black and white and then laid on paper, pretty paper. Isn't that pretty? That is really fun. And then we have Judy Crump from Virginia. Oh, I just love heart cards. Oh, how, oh, how, oh, how cute is this? Okay, look at this, Tim. I just have to figure out. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be a pull card like this. Ooh. I had to even look at that first to see. It's going to be a flip card. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. And this part is a shaker card. So a double, a double uh, fun thing on there, which is just really cool. That's really, that's gorgeous. I love it. And then we have from Bev Dahl in North Dakota. North Dakota, you're getting weather like we are, I'm sure. Oh, how pretty is this? Friendship is everything. And look at just the beautiful flower. I love how this just has the white piece in the middle and then this overlaps. So anytime you're looking at cards, I always encourage you to think about what you own that you might want to do in a layout like that. So how cool. And then notes inside. Oh, that is so fun. She's thanking me for the birthday card I sent her. Uh, we send birthday cards to everyone that asks for one over in the back porch stampers, and we love doing that. Michelle Oki from California. Whoa, Ooh. look how cool this is. Great. I think this is with those color sprinkles we used to have. Is that great? And I love the white unicorn on top. So you've got all that bright background and then the bright white here. Ooh, I love that. That is wonderful. Ah, uh, love that. And who is that? What? What? Pegasus? Pegasus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. And then the last one for today, this is from Courtney. Uh, Teresa Courtney. <laughs> Courtney. Courtney could be, you Courtney, know, Courtney. it's one of those where both of your names could be the one. Um, just a fun, a fun card. And she sent me two stamp sets to give away. So we are giving away Berry Blessings, which was just a gorgeous um, celebration set from a couple of years ago. So anyone who doesn't have this, this is just beautiful. And it's the two-step. So we're going to give that away next so week. What is that? You get, get the uh, I just have to see your name, comment, share, you name it. And I'm going to, I'm going to put this back on me for a little bit. And so you're going to come us sit by me again me? Uh, on, uh, on us. I, I just, so last week, actually there are some gorgeous cards over the back porch timber, some that are just so cute and some that are just lovely. We did these. I'm going to start at the beginning. Rainy days. So we did. Okay. Now see, I'm going to do it upside down. It is so hilarious. The, um, there we go. See, we, we have it. There we have it just to have to get it right. Isn't that funny? So I did these and you want, you'll want to go see the cards, but I had so many fun comments. You guys, I thought this would be really fun. I wanted to share some of these and this is kind of what we do when we in the all good cards club. I, I always love to pull out comments that people say, and then we talk about it. So you can have a good laugh about this. <laughs> uh, and, you that's, know, if you can relate to some of these comments, you're our kind of people. Because That is the only reason Karen makes a mistake. Is yeah, to, it's planned. For the comments. <laughs> so I just think, um, so I want you just to enjoy this first. And so if you're coming back to watch the replay, you know, you can just scatter right ahead. Welcome to you. Uh, scatter. <laughs> you can go right. Fast forward if you come back to see how to make today's simple cards. Karen's the only scattered one. I, I had to make up for last week. So anyway, enjoy some of these comments. <laughs> Cheryl said, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's wonderful to see professionals mess up. <laughs> if Yes, she's considered yes, professional. Gives the rest of us hope. I plan on trying to make a card like that only because, Karen, you made it so fun. <laughs> I just... I, I read these all to Tim and I said, I don't know which ones to pick. And he says, oh, you just got to read, read them all. all. Read this, them all. They're this, all great. This is just so, enter it's entertaining and it just shows, we just love you guys in our community. And this just is a community when people can make comments like this. I just love it. Um, um, Penny says, love the card. Lots of fun watching you two. Actually think the mistake was beneficial. Warns us what to look out for. <laughs> you know, like don't do what I do. <laughs> Christina. Oh, I love this one. This card is so clever. I made one and my daughter said I better make more because we're going to wear the first one out playing with it. You guys, isn't that the response you want 
when you send a card. I think uh, Sheila says she has this on her to-do list someday, but, but getting a reaction like that, I think that is, oh, I just, I absolutely love that. Sharon says, I love your attitude and things don't go right. I shall follow your lead. And I thought, what are we going to do? It's stamps and some paper. And after it's over, I'll look at him and say, oh, that was really a bust. But should I redo it? And it's always, nah, no, nah, this is our life. We keep on going. So if you guys can put up with this, oh, we love you. <laughs> um, Becky Lynn says, you know, because this card has so many ways to fold and unfold, if something ends up upside down, the receiver will think it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> really, really good point. Love that. Karen said she made one 20 years ago for her husband. And then she said never again, because she had to explain how to open <laughs> each stage. So decided maybe this wasn't a really good um, husband kind husband of card thing, or yeah. someone who's just not into crafting. Cause like, that's hilarious. But see, even that makes it really memorable. Cindy says, does it really matter? It's like a hidden surprise. There's no perfect. My middle is upside down. I don't think anyone will realize it's just fun to sit and fold and fold and fold. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just wonderful. Margaret says, I don't know, but this is fun to watch. So I'll go back and make it later. <laughs> I think that is. Um, Barb said she loves laughing with us. And Mary, too, had lots of laughs watching this. You guys are the best. <laughs> okay. And uh, Kathy, I love that she said, watching the replay for the 10th time, flummoxed. That's a great word for you, Karen. <laughs> It's so true. And now who used that word first? Did you or did I don't know? I, I've used it, I don't know if I used it down there or if she used it, it to describe me, but either way, it is perfect because that is exactly <laughs> that is exactly how it went. And then Beth, I loved this. She said, just had some of our elementary students make these. They are enjoying decorating them. And you guys, you know, I said, if you are having trouble doing this, get a kid to help you. These are really <laughs> fun cards to make for kids but they're also fun to teach them. And if you're struggling, they will figure it out. So I love, love, love that she had her elementary students. Oh, you guys, so we have something, something to, you know, so we can do it too. We can do it too. And then the last one I wanted to read was from Furniture Colimited. So I don't know who that name is, but this is on YouTube. And she said, um, I love this card. I wonder if you use designer series paper from the beginning, how would it come out? I would like to try that. So you guys, we're going to have a two minute redo before I get into the others. That's why I thought we would just do this. <laughs> oh, Kathy said, I called it Flumex and she said it was a good adjective. Yes, it is. I said, I'm so glad you guys will laugh with us. You know, life is too short to take anything, especially paper crafting too seriously. You guys look at this. So I did this all because you guys, you know, one of my favorite sayings is we're more creative together than we are separately. And I just think this just shows it so much. I think this is a perfect way to try this. And then you see, you could just add the, you could add some squares with your designs just in those square parts and then leave the rest all just as this designer series paper. Isn't that just cool? So I'm going to do, before we get into today's thing, a two minute redo, because if you haven't tried this yet, I think now you will. I, I am convinced of it. Let's see if I have all the stuff here. I come up with these ideas and then see if I'm prepared. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So see, I love it. You know, I, I love to think that I'm good at simplifying things. And then I see an idea like that and I said, that's the simplest, best idea ever. So see, we all work together. Where's so your, I have my your cheat, cheat sheet. I don't even need one. This Ooh. is so simple. So two six by six papers. I am scoring at one and a half and four and a half. And you're going to fold that in. One and a half and four and a half. And I think this will make it all come together. This is what I should have done last time. So this is my redo. So today you're getting two for one. Okay. So we're nope. just folding them in like that. I don't know. Uh, oh, that's okay. <laughs> we're not, we're not into perfection today. Then I'm going to take these and cut them in half. So that'll be three inches. And three inches. Okay. Then we take two of them in the middle. Remember, we just lay them out like this. Okay, so some of this may old hat to you and the rest of you look at this and just think, oh my goodness, that really is easy. So directional either side. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just... And I'm going to just in the corners, I'm putting this in the corners here. I did a, I made a whole card on a really short video for Instagram. I think I speeded it up. So it was two minutes down to one minute, but see, <laughs> I could get it all done. 
So here are my pieces. Here's a fast talker. Well, I better be a fast stamper too, or I or wouldn't have it done, right? Here's the slowest part, getting those off, because I still didn't grab my take your pick tool. I gotta gotta do that. I was actually my next uh, video on basic stamping was going to be about doing adhesives. And I just decided I should wait a couple of weeks and just make sure there aren't any new ones in the new catalog because I don't want to redo it. So in a couple of weeks that will come out. Okay, so you see, I'm just taking that off. I'm putting this under here and I'm doing this really slow, really, I mean, really, really slow. Yeah, right. I'm doing this very visually, very slow. So do you see how this part is on here? I don't mean slow, very simply. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on here. Yeah, words are going out the window, what can we say? And I don't know if I really attached that up there because it just felt like this slids. Okay, let's see. No, I did, okay. So I'm gonna put that in. Okay, you guys, check this out. I am done. Wow. This is my card, because now look. Now, see, wasn't that easy after all? It opens that way. It opens that way. Ooh. That way. And back to the front. So isn't that easy? I just thought we had to do one more quick thing. <laughs> Can anything be the front? Yes. However you want to decorate so it. Yep. Open those up until it comes yes. back there. Yes. Just do it. Yes. No. Oh. Oh, oh, just go back and do what were no, you saying? Do, just open it up, go all the way through. Yeah. See, it's just back. wherever you want it to be. There's and always one, one that looks like this and then one mm -hmm. more. Okay. And then it's back. It works. Wow. So you can just sit and play with these. Um, so anyway, that is a very, so anyway, we had to, we, we just had to put that in. Uh, Ginger said the decorating was her downfall. Yes. And I think, well, that was mine too. I think that's because I had things, you know, uh, I think it was Sharon who, posted a card over in the back porch stampers where she had this really cute thing or one of these, the giraffe head was looking out over, you know, it's just to arrange things. So they all look it together. But if you start with paper, this would be so easy to just put words or something on here or just some punched flowers. You know, I think of the punch that goes with this. Those would make great accents just to do that in some words. So anyway, we simplified it even more. So now what, I wanted to do today, today we are doing, so I said we do something really simple. We are doing gatefold cards. I'm gonna bring this up for a minute, but um, we're doing gatefold cards and really a gatefold card just means it meets somewhere in the middle, but it, it doesn't have to be the exact middle, but somewhere like a gate, it opens like a gate. There are so many things you can do with gatefolds. Now I've already done one class in the All Good Cards Club with gatefold cards. But our next one, which is not this weekend, but next weekend, is going to be volume two, and they're gonna be all different cards. So today we're covering something very basic, but I just wanted to tell you what this is like. And in the All Good, and I love it when you guys put in comments about the All Good Cards Club, but we take this idea since we're doing um, gateful cards, but we run with it and we do all kinds of other things. So here's one of the cards we'll be doing. And I just wanna show, do you see how this is still a gateful because it still meets in the mm. middle. And how cool is that? It just, it slides together. I have to look at it though. And then it stays closed. So anyway, we meet three times and it's only $15. So just wanted to put that out there because we'd love to have you join us. Uh, I love every step that we can take to get to know each other better and for you guys to get to know each other. Um, Deb was saying what part of the card of, oh, of the, can I bring that other one right back up again? Would you use as the middle? Um, what I would choose, all I'm going to say is I would choose one of the, one, either of these that kind of lay flat more, uh, more easily as the, uh, and leave these as the fun folds, but okay, we're going to leave those and go on to something else. Uh, when I, I did this in a six by six square because it's easier with the measurements I could redo it. So maybe the next time we'll do this card, we'll make it a regular size. Sometimes I think a special card like this is kind of like the card is actually more of a gift than a card. And it is the kind, you know, someone put more work into it. So I think it's worth, I personally just put them in like the six by nine white manila envelopes with a tape. You know? uh, and otherwise I give them in person, but sometimes it's worth the oversize because, you know, if you're really going to make a statement, why not make a statement? When I was a kid, I thought Manila and vanilla were the same thing. 
I thought they were interchangeable. <laughs> well, maybe they are. Maybe they are. I don't know. So, of course, we're going to start with making a couple of these, and then I will show. We'll look at a few more. So let's start with, oh, and so then what we're pointing out is that all of these stay closed because they have a little latch. So do you see what, I mean, it doesn't get simpler than this. How cool is this? And you can see how this just slides right into there. And that's what, because if I, if it's just like this, they don't tend to stay closed at all. So that's and what I wanted even, to do to make something just a little bit different. And even I can put it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So ah. today we're just talking about closing cards with a latch. And of course, if I use my my uh, bone Bold folder, order, it yeah. would be even tighter, you even but I think this is anymore. really fun. Okay, so for this, so I have my regular half sheet of cardstock. Tim's going to get his bone folder, so you can do that step for me because, you know, I get Ooh. racing. I just don't do it. So this is eight and a half by five and a half, and we want it to meet in the middle. And so the middle of this is four and a quarter. So half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth. So that's what I'm going to score it. I'm going to score it two and an eighth. And, you know, by tomorrow, the project sheet will be up on my blog. But even as shortly after this, it will be up with the, all the measurements on if you need it. But the project sheet goes up, you know, Narsh does them for me um, overnight. So that's so perfect. So you can also wait for that because, of course, you know, Gatefold cards with a latch is going to be what we're doing in the back porch. And Narcissus overnight is actually her day. Well, it's her daytime. And so then these are just a quarter inch down. So this is five and a half. So this is five and a quarter. Remember, this was two and an eighth. So this is one and seven eighths. So this is the simplest way uh, to just do. And I just think this is lovely. I'm not adding another layer. And I think cards like this, like this is a, this could be a nice sympathy card, just nice cards to have on hand. Okay, so I'm going to put that on. And this is really, okay, if you want to do the, do the honors We'd of doing that. To. Okay. And then. So we'll make it kind of like this? I, no, you just, you, oh, you can just do that. Folder. Okay, oh, good. you can just good. do the bone folder since he got it out. And now here's where the fun part comes in. So when I give you directions, it's always for the main part of a card. And then the accents are what you're going to think it, think it is. So as you're thinking, I tried to think of things that would be a variety of things to just give you ideas. But it'll, hopefully this will help you look at your punches and dies differently too. So then I knew I wanted to do something like this. So I lay this across and then that will tell me where to put my my uh, glue dots. I can put one there and I can put one there. Okay. Cause I'm leaving this part out for that to slide through, mm -hmm. which is very cool. So then I'm going to lay that where I think that that would be. And then I'm going to put this on. So I'll do that part first. <laughs> oh, might've almost Whoops. gotten a little stuck there. And then I'm going to slide this in. Oh, did I do it on the wrong side? Did I do it on there, not there? Yep. Oh, well, let's see. Okay, can I do that? Maybe. Does that look okay, do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, that still looks okay. I don't okay. think they would even know. So I have room here. Okay, you're going to just pretend I wanted it that way. Okay, how cool is that? Karen, you, you wanted it that way. I did want it that way. I totally forgot, see? And then it's just going to slide open like that, and then it just fits in like that. Just, so this is what I'm calling a gatefold card with a latch. This is the latch. And then you just add whatever you want for I don't decorations. Want to complicate it, but the size of this stamp, I like the big one better. Yes, I do too. In fact, I did this one first and I thought it actually seemed too small. So yeah, I did this does. one. So see, yeah. I'm glad you said that because that's part of playing around. Oh, and thank you for asking. Somebody's asking what dye this is from and I'm going to count on you guys. Um, Someone to respond. I was actually going to today, and then I totally forgot. Write out all the different things I was using um, because I forgot. I also forgot to. Just my sneaky little reminder. My card kits are beautiful this month. So when you place orders, I forgot to just say that. So see, we catch up. So this is one way. So we're just tucking it inside there. Catherine says that is easy. Okay, this is what she's doing this afternoon. So if you missed doing the, um, the card from last week, you might want to just move right into this. And then if you feel like you're ready for more ideas, just come join us because I just love how ideas build on ideas. 
So, okay, here's another one that I'm not going to make, but I'm just going to show. We're looking at the differences. Much cuter. But I thought, how fun is this? So this is one of those layering diorama dies. I had this extra left from something else because, you know, I keep my little packets. Oh, she I does. thought this would be just perfect. And you see it? This are just punches then, wishing you all the wishes. So think of all the different kinds of things you can use for an accent. And this one, again, has no border on it. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, one of... Well, here let's we'll do the, we'll do this one. We're gonna do some this new. This is the new um, the online exclusive. Look at these pretty dyes. This is what the heart's from. It's Explain got all this. What online exclusive means? And the online exclusive means just, it's just an online thing until supplies run out. So if you're wondering. But that is, but I thought I should take one of these out and play with it. And I just thought, I love this. And, you know, I talked about before, I just love heart cards. So I paired I this too. with the whole set, sit, stay, relax. You know, if you have cat lovers in your life, it's so, so cute. And my favorite one in here is you feel like home to me. I think that is just one of the nicest compliments you could ever give anyone. And what I wanted to show here, this card, and then I'm using the metallic paper. And I thought, how fun. So this is monochromatic. This one does not have the extra layer, and this one does. Do you have a preference? No, but I have. I yeah. Have, remind me at the end of this thing that I want to share what tomorrow's holiday is. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, you guys will see if I remember to remind him or not. Okay, but do you have a preference? Do you see? This is the difference that a layer can make. But there, and I always think this dresses it up. But there's nothing wrong with this card either. So this time we're going to dress this up because we've already done it well, with one. Yeah. Because they really um, and you wouldn't know the difference until you see it. No, no, you would never know the difference. So we're going to talk about a couple things on here. So once again, I'm going to. Oh, I have way too much stuff here. But you guys all understand that. So again, I have my half sheet of cardstock, and the magic number is two and an eight to make a gatefold card. I like using the fatter end, especially when I'm. So if I use the skinny end, I cut right through it. Yeah, I also think when I'm sitting, it just, yeah, I, I just prefer it. Okay, you can fold and score that one. And I am, while he's doing that, I will quick put these on. So when I'm going to layer, we're always going to just go a quarter inch smaller and remember this will be on my blog so you don't need to write these down that this other piece would be one and three quarters by five and three eighths I think but I'm just not going to do any guarantees right now because you know <laughs> I, I, think. I think I've learned my lesson <laughs> she sounded so confident when she says I think I know okay but see how easy this is this is still just such an easy card And I do love the cards we're going to make. I kind of went overboard on this next class. I do that sometimes. And then I'm going to put my inside. The inside is still going to be just four inches by five and a quarter because this is a standard size card. This will fit just in a regular envelope. It just folds in the middle instead of to the side. So and that is all. Did you notice that she didn't waste any tape by doing it all the way down? Right. You don't need to. Nope. And then I'm going to take, I like, this is where I like using glue dots or something a little stronger. I'm going to put this part on and I think I'm not, oh, I'm not, I'm not pressing it hard enough here. So let me, I'm going to add, I'm going to add a bunch here. Okay, I'm going to get carried away. Okay. So now I'm going to put this in the middle. And then for my so when you heart. When you're putting them down, you're just putting them on one side. Yeah. So I just put on. Oh, oh except did I miss one? No, mm -hmm. that's just a little, that's just a little doodad. But thanks. Thanks yeah. for telling me that. Yeah, because that's right. Otherwise, we'd have a thick postcard. Yeah, we would. And you'd write on the back and, you know, <laughs> that would work. Yeah, that extra layer just kind of adds. Um, yeah, Cynthia said gate cards are a staple for to make. It's just an easy way to change your cards and be a little different. And then when you look at all the different things we can do with the gatefold, it is also just really very cool. So now what I did with these, with several of these, if I'm just using uh, cardstock, I like to do a double layer if I'm doing 
this because it'll just keep it stronger. Yep. So I actually am going to do this and put this on. So now I always think the fun thing for me is afterwards seeing what other things you guys come up with to use for the latch. That's what just is the interesting part about this. These cards I still put in the All Good Cards Club, but then we uh, we take that and go on much further than that. But I thought, isn't that fun? So I just love the heart off there and then the high friend. Open it and close it. Okay. You feel like home to me. And close it, we just stick it under. I just love that. I love that there it stays you. closed. Um, so that is just really cool. So this piece of the same paper just didn't have as much design on it. Right. Yeah, much it's just a different gold. part of the paper. Yep. I like I yeah. love that. Yep. So you could get a whole bunch of these cards out of out of a thing. So yes. Um, okay. So that's the next one. So then the next one, oh, this is one of my favorites always. This rain or shine is just so cute. And this one is only using the paper other than the words inside. But look at this. And look what I used for a latch on this one. When Karen's done here, she goes back to the ones that she didn't say. That was my favorite. And she just <laughs> reassures them. You two are my favorite. Yeah, okay. Okay, and here I have them side by side too. The extra layer and not the extra layer. So again, we can look at that. Um, let's do, okay, we'll do this one from scratch again. So you can write down the measurements if you're going, but really I think it's easier just to go look. It's my half a sheet of cardstock. Two and an eighth is the most important thing to remember. Because did you know, once you have this measurement, oh, you can do that. No, I can, I can score it now. You can always figure out your own measurements. Just take a ruler and measure this. You're going to go a quarter inch smaller than that and a quarter inch smaller than that. So once you kind of figure that out, it's like, oh, that's just so easy. So going a quarter inch smaller, I'm just going to go over how you come up with these measurements. You see how that's a quarter inch smaller. So this is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then we go quarter inch smaller yet. So now we have, now we have one and three quarters, but I obviously did one of these wrong. We'll go one and three quarters and five and a quarter. I and gonna, I cut my paper wrong. I was just going to brag about how, how smart you were in math when you were in high school. Oh, yeah. But, but. I know. It, it's all left. Okay. Good idea. We don't need to do that one because I'm going to adapt and change. So that's all good. See, it's good. We have another one. <laughs> okay. Um, the, <laughs> yeah. Sandy saying Mr. Otitis is very oh, is a very good, helpful person for, for Mrs. Yes. Optimus. <laughs> Do you make boiled dinner tomorrow? <laughs> so that's me. it. <laughs> Timothy Otitis. And he will wear his green. You better. Well, okay. Now, do you see what's different about this card? Um, show me the last cards or wherever you're putting them. Well, I'm putting them right under here. Okay. So our other cards, we've all oriented this way. And then one of the other easiest ways to just be more creative is just to turn something sideways and think, now, what would I do with it this way? So I think this is a, a yes. If you're asking about the the dies, it's online only. And if you have questions, just um, just message me. But there are several things. The this rhino is also on the online extra uh, um, extravaganza only, and he has dies, and he is stinking cute. There are three of them, three of these rhinos. So there are several things, and my whole card kit. These my card kit this month. These are all online exclusives too. So it's just a new thing. You. And if you need help ordering because you don't order on the computer, you can always call me. I'm happy to put in orders. But I just loved how the, all this is, is changing our orientation. And this time it's the grass. So I just think it's interesting how this will be the clouds. So it's kind of at the top. This is at the grass. So it's at the bottom. This Hello, friend. Hope your birthday is wild. But it's just basically the same, the same layout. So I just hope we've got the wheels turning here. Uh, so that is good. Um, okay, so I'll take my pieces there. And I'll still have one more card to show. So I'm going to, this time for my inside, instead of, you know, putting it that way, it's going to go this way. Whoop. So we're going to just do this. 
So the clasp part is really what is making today's card a little unique because the gatefold is just one of the simplest folds out there. And this is just kind of an introduction to, oh, then we can do more things with it. So we can just keep adding. So I already have these done. And these are just some of the designer series paper stacks. Okay, so how cool is that? And then, so here's another, another examples. Are they just cute? Here's two of the three. Uh, the other one is floating around here somewhere, but I thought, how cute. And then I just use punches. So I was gonna make, make this just really easy. And for a hippopotamus to float, that's... Yes, I, yes. It, it all works. So see, I can put this on. That's a rhinoceros. Is that a rhino? rhino it's a rhino. A rhino. I call it is it a rhino. Answer. Okay. It is a rhino. My I'm going to put this on. I just think he's so cute. And of course, he could have been stamped right on a punch, this one, this size. So that's another way, too, if you don't do the die cutting. Mm -hmm. And now you can see this time, it's going to open this way. So I'm going to attach it just at the top. So I will take this. Yeah, this this is really cute. The only thing I think about, <laughs> I want to be careful who I, who I send. Some of us might not like getting a rhino card for a birthday for a hippo card. I don't know. I, I just have to get past that. But they're so stinking cute. Who wouldn't? Um, but anyway, how fun is this? And then again, do you see how this would just stay flapped open? This is what's cool. And it doesn't keep it totally flat, but it doesn't need to. But do you see how it, it keeps it closed? I just really love that. Hello, friend. So the same on this. I'll look at this and say, okay, I can put here, here, and here. Here's where I can put my dies. So I'll put two at the bottom and one at the side. And before you put that on, uh -huh, I can tuck, still tuck that in. Oh, okay. So that, that will be okay. Okay. Let's see. So make sure, yep. And then he's going to close up. Just tuck them under the tuck them under the weeds. Just sitting in the weeds, <laughs> and then I can just add my little hello friend. See, I'll just tuck him under there oh. like that. And then I added I this was a flower paper, so I added that cute little flower. But now I'll still add one here too. I just don't have one here. But are those just adorable? So with the hippo, the rhinos, you can make cards. You know, with three different rhinos doing that, and I think that is pretty fun. Um, oh, Stephanie says her mom thought she called her that she called her rhino because they're so protective of their offspring. <laughs> That's not what she's thinking. See, I just don't know how interesting, but sometimes it's a fun story that goes with something too, or, you know, so anyway, so it's just kind of interesting. And then this one I wanted to show too, because to see how this is the hues of happiness paper, but you see how this has two flowers flat and then this Ooh. one becomes a lock. Now, if we were just closing it, it would just be like that. However. But because we can sit, fit this in as the lock, Ooh. I just think it's really cool because now it stays closed. So that's a double fit. Yeah. So do you have a favorite, Tim, of these cards? Ooh. Let's see. Let's put out, we'll just put out one of each one that we did. We don't need the extras. Let's uh, do all that and that. So we've got from really simple to really, I just think these are really fun. So I'd love to hear what your favorites are and get a good look at this because now you're going to want to go over to the back porch stampers and start seeing what other people are going to post. And I think this okay, is wait. Mm -hmm. my favorite. You're going to Yeah. Oh, actually this one. Yeah. And look how simple that is. I was thinking about making a bunch of these, just having a hands for sympathy cards. Cause I just thought that just seemed um, to make so much sense. So you guys, make sure you're on the email list so you get the list early each week of what we're going to do. Let me know if you have any questions. And this was so much fun. And then come on over and back porch stampers. So this is and so fun. Yep. Oh, and other people are saying the heart is their favorite. What paper are the flowers from? Uh, Hues of Happiness, which was on low inventory. Uh, so don't wait on anything you're wanting. Um, I'm assuming they still have it. I haven't read it going out. And this is the one with the heart. Uh, so thank you. Uh, I just... You guys are so wonderful. Okay. This, I, you know, there are dyes that you can get with this, but I just fussy cut all these flowers because, you know, I like fussy cutting. They're so easy to fussy cut. So I still have a hole because I'm still going to make a bunch of birthday cards out of them. I just love this paper. But we really should vote yes for stinking cute. Oh, yes. Of the, of the cutesy ones. Yeah. What's the best cute? Because we aren't getting that. Okay. Uh, 
I, I will come back and look at that. And thanks, you guys, for being part of my life. We cannot thank you enough. And so. I will see you out and about with all your green on tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have to post a picture of Tim, Timothy O'Toole tomorrow. So. O'Toole. <laughs> Okay. Give me the old Titus. Okay. I guess that doesn't help. Oh, the fat cat people are saying so cute. Thanks, guys. And the rhino. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye.